hey everybody happy sunday evening dion here with the turquoise cyrus we started working on this and adding flowers to it just the other night we're going to add in some more in whites and yellows and a little bit of pink matthew's here as well to read your comments Hello. and um i am going to be doing some palette knife work with the turquoise cyrus palette knife. I believe this is number 22. Nope, this is 38. Hello, everybody. I see you on Instagram and YouTube looks like it's up and running. How about Facebook, babe? Are we good? Oh, yeah. We're good. All right, everybody. How are you? Let me know what you've been doing today. Hi, Patty and Delisa and Kim. Paint Pixie's here. Denise is here. Hello, Miss Beats Design. Callie's here. Oh, Lisa, man. Papa Mac and Irene, Thank Janet you. Gray. Okay, so I love how this is going so far. But every time I've walked in here, I've been thinking white, white, you need some white. So I have white, I have some cadmium yellow, I have a little bit of neon pink, and then I also have some baby pink. So I've got my fan brushes and my palette knives. And if anybody has any questions, please let me know. We'll drop some links in there for you too. Hello, Rob and Derek. Hello. Went for a little bike ride, says Paint Pixie. Well, that sounds great, everybody. Let's get in here. And I worked all weekend on furniture projects and some new things coming out. And um, it's been busy, hasn't it, babe? Been a busy weekend. Been a busy weekend. So I'm going to lightly do my white with the palette knife, and then I'm going to mist it with some water, and then I'm going to bring on some more colors as well, just like we did last time. Most of what we did the other night was all with the fan brush. But I'm going to add in a little bit more with the palette because I can put a little bit more on the canvas and press in some more color. Matthew, do you want to learn how to do these with me? I'm good. Thank you. Are you sure? Oddly. Oh, man. Matt made breakfast for dinner, which is always a fan or a household family woods favorite. family favorite. Hello, Carrie Carter. Hi, Carrie. We missed the slinging and slinging show last night because we watched um, movie night last night. The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. Who else has seen it? Uh, everybody, yes, everybody up in the Northeast, please stay safe. Danielle's here. Carrie Carter and Janae. You guys, it was Friday night. You guys, so many of you joined us. Um, hi, my Michelle. Thank you, Josie. That arm wall just sold, just sold. But I have another one I finished tonight, and I'm going to release it tomorrow. And uh, anyway, I've been so, so busy. Great movie. Ah, this is why on Instagram saw it, Matthew. So it was based on a true story. Has anybody else seen seen the, the Boy Who Harnessed the Wind? It's a pretty good movie. It was. I like when they're inspired by a true story, and I love when they have a really good message. And, um, well, it was just, I didn't cry as much as I did with the fatherhood, that's for sure. Remember, I watched Fatherhood the other day, last weekend, and whew. No mimosas, Robert. No mimosas? Patty, uh, Patty I do, um, I make Dion an omelet, just an egg and cheese omelet uh, with... With salsa. With salsa, and then um, I make for me and the boys basically just scrambled eggs, mix in some sausage and some bacon. And I like to wrap mine in a burrito, and Holden will just eat his as and is. I eat biscuits with biscuits honey. Biscuits, and I cook some. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. That's normally what we do. Yeah. Pretty simple. Yeah, and. Um... Saturday and Sundays, I make myself French toast with blueberries and honey, but nobody else in the house will eat it, so I only just make it for myself. But every Saturday and Sunday, I love French toast. So I'm just doing some white in there. I'm going to also, like I said, I've got neon. I've got some bright yellow. I have some baby pink, and I really just am going to work with number 38, guys. Uh, this is for the right hand. And laying down lots of color with the white and this is just my golden big jar <laughs> you love biscuits and honey kim it's it's pretty much one of my favorites isn't it matthew that's good uh the texas roadrunner but she loves eggs and salsa which is really good but i like i like what all i know like uh like uh, hot sauce like uh, oh my gosh I forgot the name of it what's that sauce I you call? put tabasco tabasco sauce with eggs which i think is a little odd personally 
Janae says, I saw in your email that you started an Instagram for cannabis only. I did. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. And I started it, and I hope that you are following me as well, Miss Janae. Thanks for opening my emails. It means a lot when you actually open my email and read, <laughs> and read it. Thank you. Jaleesa, That's a lot of time that goes into those things. <laughs> Jalisa Dixon says, is that white paint or texture? This is white paint. This is uh, Liquitex titanium white, and I just buy it by these big jars because I like to use so much of it. And I am just playing around, laying down this base, and I'm gonna build some color up on just the white. Now, Texas Roadrunner is taking it to a whole new level. She said salsa on baked potatoes as well. Well, yeah, yeah, I can see that for sure, like hash browns. Yeah, 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 I can see that. Not any kind of taters. What, really? what do you call them? Taters. Taters? Yeah. Why do you call them taters? Why not? I'm just curious because they're called potatoes. Why, thank you, Mr. Appropriate Pronunciation. No, not at all. I was just curious how you came up with <laughs> taters. I don't know, baby. Is it because of tater tots? I don't know. I mean, you, used, you, you and are... I used to, used to eat those tater tots. Oh, man, with some fish sticks? Oh. That was our dinner once a week, maybe twice a week. Tater tots and fish sticks. You could buy them by like a five-pound bag. <laughs> they were so cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mom. Oh, Mom's blaming it on Dad's family, saying of the word course, taters. It would not be the Bivens. No not way. No, no, no. Way too sophisticated. <laughs> Oh, I hope everybody's been having a good weekend and being able to relax. It's super warm. It's August in Oklahoma is a heat wave and it's true to form right now. Uh, so I'm going kind of heavy over here with white, but I think I'm going to hit one right over here. Trying to keep it a little off balance on purpose as these flowers are growing wild. Spraying it first. Uh, Marielle Miller, she's on the same page. Fish sticks and tater tots. Ooh, week. yes. Eggs with hash browns, says Patty Ferguson. Eggs with hash browns. Lolly Lolly's on here, says it's been horrible, too hot and muggy. Yes, it is so hot and muggy. The mosquitoes, I actually got in the pool last night and didn't stay. I stayed, long. I stayed on that big, enormous floaty, and within literally 20 minutes, I had a bite on my cheek and bites on my arms, and I said, get me out of here. <laughs> it was bad. Okay, so while the white is setting up, let's build up some more color on it. Okay, I'm gonna get this bright. And yeah. Kristen, had, Kristen Calhoun, and she's on everything. Yeah. And, and ketchup. <laughs> I ate sweet potato fries last night for dinner, and I have to dip them in ketchup. Love doing that. But we, yeah, that movie was pretty good, guys. I do recommend it. It's slow. Um, it's slow, and it wasn't. It's dramatic, so there's nothing funny about it. That's for sure. Uh, but the boy who harnessed the wind, I, I recommend it. It was really good. And I'm just gonna apply this right here on my palette knife and let some of that trickle into the white. Very easy application here with the palette knife, guys. My goal is for me to do this and you to go, oh, I can do that. Well, sure you can. Boy, I think we we start, they are getting after it on what they like to eat. Oh, I love it. Uh, yeah, Facebook, okay. Facebook is blowing up on what Delisa says, runny fried egg on top of American cheese on top of hash brown. O-M-G. Well, those are a few things we have never tried. I have. What? But I just don't make them. Oh. This is... this is. Kristen amazing. Calhoun likes to uh, dip her uh, tater tots in some syrup. <laughs> okay, Rob says, sweet potato fries with chili powder and cayenne pepper mm. with some sea salt. Oh, no, I, I could see that. Hello, yes. Rohini. How's Tom doing tonight? Hi, Ro. Mosquitoes. Yeah, 
They were terrible last night. My word, I thought they were literally going to eat me alive. I ran for cover. Then I wrapped myself up at like a burrito. Okay, now I'm just kind of highlighting the green stems with a little bit. You get a perfect, beautiful line with your palette knife. Just very subtle, guys. Tom's working hard tonight. He's not able to join us this evening. He is working hard. Okay. Which is good. That's good. I'm glad he's working. We have worked so hard all week, too. Matt cleaned out the or organized the attic the other day when we had rain. Oh. So it wasn't yes. hot. This is how he crazy loves out. cleaning out the attic. This is this is how this is how. Did you? Weird. I think you just said yourself was crazy. It you is. You just said you because were crazy. I, I like that. I mean, once funny. I did it, I was thinking about it, and I was like, "Okay, what are you doing?" <laughs> I heard you up there literally all day. I was up there all day just enjoying myself in the attic. I had everything pulled out. <laughs> I switched it from from cardboard boxes. I went and bought some clear plastic, you know, totes. And I'm just, I'm going through stuff, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, why do we keep this? I don't know, but I can't throw it away because Deanna will kill me. That's right. That's right. And I just, yeah. Because he okay. comes down, and he has lunch, and he's like, you know, we sure have a lot of keepsakes. And I'm thinking, what is your point, Woods? Yeah, I don't know. What is your point? But I'll be honest with you, I felt a little bit better after I got it done. Well, I said, do you feel really accomplished now? Look how this yellow is making these flowers pop. Do you well, see this, Woodsy? I do. The truth, the truth is, when you ask me to go find something, I think I'll know where to go. Does that make sense? Yeah, we, when we moved in here, we just kind of hit the ground running. We just got everything going and then just, just go, go, go. And so, because it was rainy, he didn't have to go to work. His job, like, you know, he had some time. So he stayed here and was like, I'm going to go organize the attic. And I'm like, that is a job for Woods right there. I'm going to stay down here and not organize the attic. Then we we dropped off at Goodwill, didn't we? Yeah. We dropped off at Goodwill. Stuff. Donated some stuff. Which all right, I'm going to put the yellow down. Carrie Carter worked all weekend on a barn door and still not done. Girl, I worked all weekend and I'm still not done with the things I was going to do too. I'm loving that yellow sky. Janina, hi, sister. <sighs> okay. Thank you. So I highlighted with the yellow. I added in some white, but I also want some baby stinking pink. So let's figure that out. I really want it just overflowing with flowers. So I have my fan brush and Petticoat Pink from DIY. And we're going to get some more in here. You know, I think there's a market for me. I think I'm onto something. With what? Cleaning people's attics? Yes. Oh, honey. You bring it all down, get it in the garage, get a bunch of totes, or bring it in the house, and you organize it with the client, and then put it all back up in, a, in an orderly manner. Yeah, but you know, there go, used oh, to my... be a TV show called that. And then, and then. They really did. And then they go, oh, my God, I forgot I had that. And then you just. But you, you said throw, it. You throw it away. I wonder why you said it like that. Oh my God, I forgot that I had that. <laughs> Look at this beautiful flower. I mean, you guys, if you're not using the fan brush for your flowers, you're missing out. You see what I'm doing here, Woodsy? Uh, Michelle says, yes, John, it's called Hoarders. Yes, I'm like, I think there's a show, Michelle. That's right, girl. Huh. <sighs> Every once in, and then as Matt and Holden are loading things out to the garage, um, he's Matt saying this: If I lived by myself, there would be nothing in the house. I literally like he nothing. loves the idea of nothing, just whatever it is. Oh, we don't need that. We don't need that. He would need a pair of shoes, something to sit in, and a TV. Thank you, Colleen, and food. Food, food will be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Food's food's a bonus. Yeah. We just think how easy it would be to clean. I mean, literally, all I need is about, I would need about 800 square feet. That's so incredibly boring, honey. What but about your walls? Yes, really? yes. 
I mean, boring. I could, I could, you know, hang a little painting if I needed to. But you're already like, ooh, that house is so boring. Like you, you, you hate beige. You're like me. We don't do beige factories. Is what we call houses that are all brown. Not that we don't like them. It's just not for us. We like color. Don't you want some art on your walls, like from your wife? Of course, if you lived alone. If I lived in an 800 square foot house, I probably wouldn't be married. Oh, I see what you're saying. But I would buy some of your stuff. Oh, would you? Mm -hmm. You would love my work enough to buy it. Yeah. Would you? Would, would sure. you like follow me on the socials? What I would, this is what I would do. I would buy a piece, <laughs> hang it on the wall. You would stalk me. <laughs> hang it on the wall, right? Yeah. And then I might add a little to it. And then what? You would add to my paint? Resell it for double the price. What a crook. <laughs> what a crook. Unbelievable. Add a little to it. Wow. I just add a little something, something, maybe a little, a little like butterfly or maybe like a, a beetle. That is ridiculous. You know, I put a little, put a little. Really uh, ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Put a little grasshopper somewhere and then mark it up another. 5,000% and sell it. Guys, he's in his fantasy world again. Matthew, what color does this need? Yes, Derek, that is correct, sir. What color does this need, peeps? Um, I think I heard Lolly say orange a while back, but I'm not sure. She thinks orange. True. I don't know, Lolly. Lolly she Lolly. loves orange. We we worked on something for Miss Lolly today too, didn't we, baby? Lolly, I was not. It was was not a heat wave uh, for a few days down here. Actually, we got quite a bit of rain and thunderstorms, and the temperatures were super nice. So that's why I jumped in the attic and been meaning to do it. And we're try trying to get that upstairs room it's just kind of a little bonus room um set up for for holden and his friends they can come over and we had two days there. of rain and so it was really nice up there uh lolly says orange yep yeah orange okay all right i can do orange <clears throat> lisa dixon says blue um light purple says delisa and mary miller's hot pink okay rob, rob is on with orange and purple okay i don't do purple But let's see what we can do here. You wear purple. I wear purple. Uh, Tanette would like to know, is this painting spoken for? Tanette, this is not spoken for. This is just me painting with you guys. Tanette yes. loves this time because she gets to paint. I haven't got to, I've been working on furniture. So this is like, yes, give me my brushes. I love it. We finger painted the other day in the group. And I did this one the other day in the group. Um, this was all finger painting in our finger painting group, and um, I haven't decided if I want to add anything to it or not, but we kind of went went rogue and, and just played the other day on Thursday in our group. I think it needs a horse. Well, it's not going to get a horse. What about a cow? No. Peacock. That's more likely. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Dion. It's so pretty the way it is. You think it's pretty the way it is? I think just, I mean, thank you so much. I I, I want it to be very abundantly. Somebody says some more reds. Kathleen Stoltz says more red. More red. Okay. Uh, Janet Gray, what is the finger painting group question mark? Oh, Janet, it's uh, it's you know, if you go to my website and go under creativity at your fingertips, Michelle can grab the link for you. We started it uh, about 13, 14 weeks ago. It's just a, it's just every week I go in there and I do a finger painting with the group. It's $12 a month. That's it. And come and go as you please. Well, always liking the added pink. Okay. You like the added pink. Okay. Let's get the, um, I think we should go with a little bit. I'm going to be honest with you. Just stick. No, stick with me here. Did you just tell me no? Stick with me here. I'm not going anywhere, baby cakes. Okay. I'm thinking little black dress. I am not 
going black dress. No, no, no. Just highlight. Give some shadow. You can't do highlights depth. with black, Woodsy. Some depth. Give some depth. We need depth. There's you, This needs more depth. We need a little bit more depth than that black. We'll I'm really going to go with it. Lolly's orange for just a second, and then we'll we'll talk about doing black, honey. All right, we've got some orange for Lolly, and we're going to put some orange. Lisa Dixon says, Matt, where is Lindsay? Lindsay Fu you in T. She had a change of plans today. You're she, right. She was going to come on, and yep. she had a change of plans today. We're going to reschedule her. Thank she, you for remembering. I did mean to mention yeah, that. She She's going to pick a different day, okay? More cowbell, says Janae. <laughs> <laughs> Put some orange inside that bright red that we did the other day. I'm just still going back to the number 38 palette knife if you're interested. I use this one a lot for my flowers. What do you think, Wally? Is this a good shade of orange to put in here with the red? It, it, it kind of makes it look like a burnt orange on, on, on the screen. Okay, I can handle that. Yeah, yeah, no, it looks good. What about a silhouette of some birds flying? Well. What do you think? I, I like that idea, baby, but I've never really done birds. I will show you. You'll show me how to yep. do birds? We can practice, and then you can tackle it and put it on there. What do you think? How about we save that for the next time? Can you basically, can you draw a lowercase m and flatten out each No, end? I think there's a little bit more to it than that. Not really. I feel like there is. Not really. Look at this orange up here. Let's go wild. What's Lolly saying? Does she does she say it's good? Lolly says yes, exclamation point, exclamation point. Okay. So she's like, bring on the fire. I think you're right, Lolly. Thank you for the suggestion of the orange. Okay, okay. Now, now I kind of want. Kind of look like fire tulips. Fire tulips. Mm -hmm. I like it. Lolly says orange makes everything better. <laughs> Janae, um, she has a request, and it's, I don't know if it's so much request as she's just telling you what to do. Oh, okay. She I says, I this. want a monarch on it. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Does that mean she's going to buy it if I put a monarch on it? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> Let me see what she says and we'll go from there. <laughs> Rohini says, oh man, that's stunning. Janae says, yes, I will. Exclamation point, exclamation point. <laughs> she wants a monarch on it, huh? Colleen Nolan wants to hear a joke. A joke. A joke. Okay. Give me a sec. I'll think of a joke. When you put me on the spot, it just, you know, makes me nervous. Yeah, you get so nervous. I get really nervous, and I just start sweating. My palms start sweating. It's just, it's, it's weird. Mm. It's coming together, you guys. I can put a monarch on here. I can do the monarch now that I know how to do them. You know what I mean, guys? Now that I know how, that I took that chance. Just rubbing that on there and adding that pink over that turquoise is divine. Rob has a question. When would you use the 38 and 12? Question mark. Oh, the 20, the 12 is for loading. You're loading it up. I would work the 12 with the canvas, like the background. 
and the bigger, like the bigger the canvas, the bigger the um, palette knife, Rob. So for example, if I wanted bigger, wider stems, and I, I would have done the heavier number 12 and then come in with the flowers. Pulling all of this color across my large canvas, the 12 is perfect for that. Okay, now I don't, if I do a monarch, I don't feel comfortable doing it on camera because I, for one, I need to look at a picture. I need to look at the picture. So I wouldn't, I'm not going to do the monarch, but I will try doing one on here. And if it doesn't look good, it'll turn into a big flower. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Janae, I'll, I'll try it just for you because I do actually think that would be a good idea to have a little monarch on here. Don't you, Wincy? Yeah, I think it would be pretty. Just, just a somewhere. butterfly yeah, up in just here. Just kind of maybe in flight somewhere. Yeah. yeah, that would be nice. Hey, do you know why the baby? Why did the baby cross the road? Why did the baby cross the road? Anybody? Anybody? Why did the baby cross the road? I am not sure. It was. Tell me. To go to the wine shop. Wah, wah. <laughs> To go to the wine shop. All right, so this is Thalo Blue, and this is my smaller fan. Rob would like to see a Texas mosquito on there. That is not happening. Well, it's basically they're a evil. It's basically a pterodactyl. If you can draw a pterodactyl, it's yeah, a Texas mosquito. Yeah, they're evil. I'm going to add in instead of black honey, I'm just going to use this dark Thalo because I think that's the color I want to go with instead of okay. So I'm going to create some depth by the deep blue, but not the black. Okay, honey. Now Janet, we love Janet. Yes. She's she. Janet is, sent us food. Who, oh my who gosh. can't love food? Did you, did you tell them about that? Did I think I did. Okay. I did nice. in the group. I did in the group. Okay, so she has a she has a good question here. Dion, if you were not happy with any of your flowers, how would you fix it? I would just keep working on them, Janet. Like if I wasn't happy with them, I would just keep taking paint on my palette knife and I would just keep working it, keep loading the color because that's the beauty of the palette knife. You just load the color up, dump it on the canvas and just keep building it up. So I would just keep working until I love them. Delisa Dixon, she has a question, for, she has a joke for me. She says, Matt, question mark, how many people are buried buried in the largest cemetery? I'm going to say all of them. I don't know if that's the answer. Oh, honey, you're getting so smart. Oh, Derek Carlton said the same thing. I how many people are buried in the largest cemetery? All of them should be buried. All of them should be buried, unless they're night visiting, honey. That's true. It doesn't say... Ooh, happening. when you mix the blue with the white, fire. That's like that's like a cheer. Do, Dion, you know what? Do you do you know, do you know what is brown and sticky? Um, maple syrup. It's true. It is. But that's not the answer. Oh, a stick. Oh wow, that's <laughs> that's like really basic. I like it. That's so basic. I didn't get it. I love it. Do you know what you know what a cat's favorite color is? Um, no, I don't. Purple. Wow. <laughs> is this the jokes they're giving you? Or are you doing this? No, these are jokes. These Just, are jokes they're yeah, giving you. Jokes, yeah. No, no, they're not You're doing these? Yes. Oh my gosh. Do they are they not giving any jokes? Yeah, they did. Lisa just oh here's another one. Why does the bear not wear socks? Why does the bear not wear socks? Look at this blue. Guys, it is just um why does the bear um bear feet bear because he's a bear. 
Why does the bear not wear socks? Because he doesn't wear shoes. No, because he he no, because he has bare feet. Because he has bare oh, feet. Oh, that's it. It's bare that feet. is it. It has something to do with bear feet. for sure. Yes, he likes to be barefoot. <laughs> that's what Rob said. Because he has bare feet, says so that's true. Yes. All right. What do you call a rabbit with lice? I'm so happy right now. Sorry, I'm so happy to be painting these flowers. Thank you for you guys being here with me and letting me do this tonight. So do you know what you call a rabbit with lice? No. Bugs Bunny. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Wednesday is my birthday, and I want a full-on Matt Woods happy birthday song performance Ooh, in the man move. Lisa, Lisa. Lisa, I may put on the man move for that one. I'm breaking up, Lisa. She is using acrylics tonight, Melissa. Um, tonight I'm using a mixture of both. The pink was DIY, but this is in particularly phthalo blue. Um, I'm mixing them up because I like the different looks and the different textures. Um, I have used petticoat pink and um, as the, I guess the, that's the only DIY color. The rest of them have all been the acrylics on the canvas. And right now I'm just putting in some of this blue where I would if it were black, but I don't want it to be quite as intense as a black. And I'm going to bring the camera closer here in just a few minutes so you can see some of these details. <laughs> Janet. Here's Janet. She says, I, I saw this today, LOL. I told my wife I wanted to be cremated. She told me she made an appointment for Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sing a, a big time happy birthday. What what day with, is it, her with, birthday? With my man, Moo. Will you remember? Wednesday. Wednesday. You better remember. You better write that down. I'll be on Wednesday. I know, but write it down. I'm afraid you'll forget. Lisa, you'll have to remind him he's going to get his man, Moo, and... Do you know where it is? Where what is? The man move. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, I, I know exactly where it's at. All right. Okay, last one here. We don't share a closet, so I wasn't sure. I hadn't seen last, it. Last joke for me. What do you call a nun who sleepwalks? Um, a nun who sleeps walks. What do you call a nun that sleepwalks? I or I who sleepwalks? I surely don't know. Let's see if anybody on here will get it. Are they guessing? Well, it takes a minute, so I also oh. want to give it away real quick. See if anybody gets it. Delisa says walking nunny. No, it's a good answer though. What do you call a nun who sleepwalks? I figured Lolly might get this one. Lolly says the blues at the base of the flowers is dynamic. Oh, thank you, honey. All right, honey, do you, you have any, uh, you have anything you'd like to add to? Um, nun? What do you call a nun that sleepwalks? Sister Christian? Lolly's stoked! Rob says, a flying nun. Anything, honey? Anything. I'm really just painting. Okay. All right. I got it. All right. What do you call a nun who sleepwalks? A roaming Catholic. A roaming Catholic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's good, was he? Oh, Papa Mac and Irene had a good one. They said, a holy stroller. <laughs> That's a good That's one. That's a good too. one too. All right. Roman Catholic. All right, look. Let's come closer. All right. Okay, this way you guys that want to see up close and personal can see it. So I did the background completely on my own, you know, privately, just painting, having a wonderful it actually took me three days to build up the layers <laughs> but i started the flowers the other night with you guys you can watch that replay 
And then, of course, tonight, we added to them. So, so Janet, she had started on something similar to like she was, uh, that you had done. And that's why she was asking about the flowers. She, She's she not happy with them? Not happy and can't seem to get them the way she wants them. So, yeah. Well, I wondered if that's why she was asking. And I would love to help you further if I can. Do you want to send me some pictures, Miss Janet? I just, I just keep working with them until, um, until I like them. Another thing that works really handy, because you know I'm assuming you're kind of working on abstract flowers. I, if you're using DIY paint, and kind of put the shape with the colors that you love, and then just blast them with water, and just kind of let them trickle down the page. I love that look. Thank you so much, Janae. I will add a monarch because it's your request. I promise the blue really does add a lot to the painting. Hopefully it's making those flowers appear that they are running straight towards you. The truth is the blue really gave it a lot of depth is what I was talking about. I know. Honey. I just didn't want to do black because it seemed a little bit harsh for this one. But stark contrast catches your eye and it draws your eyes to the painting. You guys, thank you for being here. I appreciate you so much. Um, we'll get Miss Lindsay Fuente on another night. And I even have Crystal Molina that was going to come. She's going to be coming on soon. Um, Val Ward, thank you so very much. Um, anything else? He's giving his evaluation, his artistic evaluation. I just want to tell you, I was rewatching Friday Night Live and my son-in-law came in and it paused. Four, and he said, oh, my God, I love that furniture behind her. All that color is so much texture. Oh, that was nice. Your son-in-law. Look at him. You're rubbing off on him. He's noticing. That's great, Delisa. Thank you so much. That big piece called Martinique, Memories from Martinique Island, actually sold today. So um, it will be heading out to its new owner as soon as James can get it. Um, I do have another piece of furniture that I'm going to be releasing and the bonus on that is I have recorded it step by step with heavy instruction. And I'm going to be putting all of that together in a course just for you guys. So um, me too. She works every evening. Um, all right, guys, thank you so much. Anything else you want to add, Mr. Woods? You want to dance? You want to prep your voice for Miss Lisa's birthday or anything? Oh, I'll, I'm going to come up. With You're going to la, 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 yeah, la, yeah. I've got la, to, la, uh, Yeah, mm -hmm. got to work on the vocal cords a little bit. Meanwhile, we need to thaw our dinner that Miss Janet and Bobby sent us so we can have that for dinner tomorrow. We are. Why not? We can. Okay. Thanks, everybody. I will photograph it, but I will do the Monarch first. See ya. Thanks, guys. See ya. Let's see. Instagram and then you guys. Good night.